I think what's so interesting about the piece is the way James draws us in to this person. This person who's now clearly doesn't have all of her faculties, is initially having a difficult time speaking, but then some of the things and some of the sounds she starts to make and some of the sounds that are in the orchestra that accompany them start aside from being a little bit disorientating, become really quite funny in a, in a, in a sort of darkly satirical way. And then as uh, the Thatcher-like character warms up and finds her voice and her tongue a little bit more, it's, it's a fantastic journey. Ride for to build better horizons. It's a little bit like if there was a very well painted Thatcher vase or teapot in fact I think I've seen one you know really fancy Thatcher teapot that gets kind of smashed on the floor and then and then you pick up little bits of it and somehow they each of those has a certain emotional quality to it that you associate with her some of those qualities are endearing others are repulsive some of them are witty some of them are are uh, dictatorial and He's able, in these, at times, little, tiny, itty-bitty fragments to just capture that, that one particular shard of her character. I don't like strident women. Failure. The possibilities simply do not exist. Things do not leak from my handbag. Gradually, you get into this Gilbert and Sullivan rap-like patter of Thatcher rabbiting off some of her catchphrases. Stop those strikers! Stop them now! I am a ruthless bloody whore. Where's Europe's money? I will it is not just a, an unbridled attack it's on... There. Margaret Thatcher from Get beginning away. to end. It does address some aspects of senility and you know, many people will have aging relatives. There are times when you laugh at them and there are times when you cry about the situation they mentally find themselves in. People who were previously very, very sharp. It's okay to laugh about it and to sometimes cry about it. And he takes you into all of those emotions when we're watching this journey of Thatcher. We found a Louise who just did that Thatcher-esque impersonation with such a sort of disturbing accuracy so that you both laughed with her, felt sorry for her, at times really hated her, and uh, Louise was, was just brilliant. I've just got to tidy this room a bit. There's going to be an important meeting in here. I'm not very happy about the way you're running the country at the moment. To say that, it, that the performance was a triumph is really doesn't do justice to how successful and an and impact it made on everyone who was there. The timing was remarkable. Um, Theresa May was addressing the Tory party conference in Liverpool the day after the world premiere of this work. It was extraordinary. Uh, the excitement was palpable. And, and the piece just spoke to every single person in that room. I, it, I, I, I can't remember a new music concert that had you know, just people on their feet within seconds after they realized it had finished because it finishes in such a such a wonderfully kind of strange way with her being escorted out back to her little asylum but uh, the, but when she came back out for the applause uh, it was uh, what a, what what a credit to the work in the imagination family it is a piece that speaks directly to absolutely any person with the remotest interest in politics, the person who would go and see 
an interesting new exhibition, uh, whether it be political or not, who are interested in watching political satire on the television. Uh, it, is, it is that audience that needs to see this brilliant new work of art.